What's poppin' everybody? Welcome on in. Today we're going to be starting a series of videos to help you become a better version of whatever role it is that you actually play in ESO. What do I mean by that? So we're going to do a video series telling you what the best sets are in the game based on what role you want to play from a PvE perspective, okay? This is largely a PvE channel, meaning what do you need to collect? Where can you get them? You know, if there's any requirements to access the sets in regard to DLC, traits researched, etc. If you can back bar them or if you need them active at all times. Now, this is subjective, obviously. We do a lot of build videos, but what I want to start doing with this series is start giving you the blueprint. Okay, I want to tell you what sets I believe to be the best. And hopefully this will allow you to mix and match things on your own and create the build that you're looking for. I know a lot of people on YouTube, including myself, we throw a build at you directly. We're like, just do this, you know? And I'm always trying to say, you know, make this the foundation. I want you to take this and run with it and tailor it to whatever you're doing in the game because a build is a toolkit. But what I would like to do is start telling you what the sets are in general that are pretty good that you can use for a variety of content that you can take them and make your own build with it, okay? So we're absolutely going to be doing this for at least tanking, uh, stamina DPS, magicka DPS, etc. You know, stamina and magicka DPS are probably going to be pretty similar nowadays given the hybridization changes, but we're going to do it nonetheless as there are some differences. If you'd like me to continue this series and go into things like, you know, solo sets, um, let me know, okay? So we're going to be breaking down the series for each role into two parts. So the first video, like the one today, is going to be based on the five-piece sets because there's simply just quite a bit of sets. We're not trying to make this video an hour long, and the goal here is to give you the best options, okay? The second video we'll do for monster sets, arena weapons, um, and mythics, okay? All right, without further ado, let's hop right in. Today, we're going to be starting with the five-piece sets that are absolutely going to rock your socks for healing. We're going to organize this video into three larger sections comprising of raid or trial gear, dungeon gear, and then that stuff that you can get from overland, PvP, crafting, guild traders, that kind of stuff. The first section of this video is going to be the five piece sets that are good from raids or trials, whatever terminology you're accustomed to. Now keep in mind, with raids you can get perfected versions. That's the, that's the gear that you get directly from doing the veteran version, okay? So this is not necessary whatsoever, okay? So we can just look at Galenway, for instance. Okay, so the five piece bonus, when it's perfected, has an extra little piece there. You can see it has adds 1164 max health. You going into veteran cloud rest just to get another 1100 health is not worth it, honestly. You should want to go into veteran cloud rest for the challenge, maybe for the skin, title, stuff like that. But you should not feel the need to farm this out, for instance, on veteran. I'm not saying this is one of the sets we're going to talk about today, but... You know, if you were using Galloway for a build, I would just use the normal version. It's really, it's really not a big deal, okay? Now, the first set that we are going to talk about comes from Sanity's Edge. It is called Transformative Hope. This is going to require the Necrom expansion, okay? So if you wait until next year when the next chapter comes out, Necrom will be a part of ESO+. Plus. But if you want to get this set currently, you're going to need to buy the Necrom expansion. The two-piece adds 4% healing done, three-piece is minor Aegis, four-piece adds healing done, and then the perfected version will add even more healing done, okay? The cool thing is the five-piece. If you heal yourself or an ally that's under 50% health, you ignite a spark of hope for three seconds. If those three seconds pass and that person happens to be under 90% health, you and the ally get major heroism for 15 seconds. So this is a really cool set that can apply major heroism under very specific circumstances and it has several lines of 4% healing done including the extra 4 that you get from the perfected. So all in all, um, it's pretty fantastic, definitely, and it gives you some magicka recovery, okay? So we're just going to briefly go through all these sets because there's a bunch. If you have any questions about any of the sets let me know transformative hope is fantastic and there will be timestamps um, so that you can go between each of the sets and quickly see what they are if you don't feel like watching the quick little breakdown for each of them okay next set 
is called Vestments of Olrond. This comes from Cloudrest. So this is going to be part of the Somerset expansion, and it's going to be located in the Somerset Isles. You can either buy the Somerset expansion or you can have ESO Plus at this point. Okay, Two pieces Magicka Recovery, three pieces Minor Aegis, four pieces Magicka Recovery. The Perfected is Max Magicka, and then the normal five piece Casting AoE ground effect abilities create a circle of might for five seconds that'll give you and allies major courage when you stand in it, which is going to increase your weapon and spell damage for 15 seconds. So this is an awesome set, but keep in mind, um, you're only giving that damage boost to a cap of six players, okay? All right, next one, Pillager's Prophet. This is a newer set that I absolutely love. I've been farming it out a little bit, still got a little bit to give. This comes from Dreadsail Reef. Dreadsail Reef is the trial that we got this past year as a part of the High Isle expansion. Okay, so now that it's been a year, Necrom's out. High Isle is part of ESO Plus. So if you have ESO Plus, you can come in here. Okay, two pieces healing done, three pieces minor ages, four pieces max magicka, five piece perfected is magicka recovery. And then the five piece says when you use your ultimate in combat, you grant 5% of your ultimate points that were spent up to a maximum of 20 as ultimate to up to 11 other group members. So basically your entire raid group within 12 meters every 2 seconds over 10 seconds. This is such a cool set. So you can actually grant up to 100 ultimate over a 10 second period to every one of your group members around you. There are a couple problems though. So if your group members are all over the place, like if you're in a pug and people are sprinting all over the place and they're not within 12 meters, and this effect is going to be not as good, obviously. Like, you want a more concentrated, organized group. Um, 12 meters is a decent radius. But still, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've been in pug groups where you have a guy with a bow that's 40 meters away from the rest of the group and all that stuff. So you just have to keep that in mind. Everyone needs to be within 12 meters. Um, the other thing is that it takes a little bit of coordination because if a good bit of your group is actually full on ultimate, then it's pointless, right? All right. Next set called healing mage or mending so we come to ethereum archive ethereum archive is a raid based in craglorn um, and this is one of the base game raids okay so let's come right here two pieces magicka recovery three pieces max magicka four piece is four percent healing done five piece when you use an aoe heal specifically you apply minor cowardice to enemies within 10 meters of you which reduces their weapon and spell damage by 215 for five seconds this is a great set that reduces the damage of enemies passively while you're healing. You're going to be using these AoE heals regardless. This is not some funky spell that you're going out of your way to use. Um, but it can be kind of hard to keep up because you have to apply this every three seconds. Um, they definitely improved the set because, you know, Minor Cowardice used to only last for three seconds way back when. Now it's five, so it's a little bit better. Um, but you know, your AOE heals, like I'm on my Templar right now. Like we have one, we have two, we have three, four, five. We have five healing spells. So as long as you're using one of these five spells, for instance, on my healer, you're going to be all set. Okay. Next set is called Roaring Opportunist. Okay. Roaring Opportunist comes from the raid Kind's Aegis. Kind's Aegis is a raid that came out with the Greymore expansion, and at this point, it can be part of ESO Plus, right? It is located in Western Skyrim. Very cool. It's my favorite raid by far. It's all Nordic-themed and everything. I'm sure you guys could have guessed that. Okay. Two-piece is Penetration. This is definitely a weaker, um, a weaker line for healers, but the five-piece is what makes it so good. Three-piece is Minor Slayer. Four-piece is Weapon and Spell Damage. Five-piece Perfected is going to be Max Magicka. And then the five piece says, after doing a heavy attack, you and five others get Major Slayer for one second per 600 spell damage or 6,300 Magicka that you have, up to a maximum of 12 seconds. So this is a great set, especially in dungeon or arena settings, because you're 100% of the time buffing the entire group, obviously. But in a raid setting, it's going to take a little bit more coordination since it only buffs about half the group. The other thing is that's so nice about this um, you know, if I'm spamming my healing spells, I definitely will, like, light attack weave. Um, and it's a good habit to get into with pretty much every class that you play. There are lots of sets that actually, even on a healer, um, require light attacks. 
So that's good. But most of the time as a healer, you're actually going to be heavy attack weaving because you're going to try to maintain your resources, especially if you get into some sort of oh shit moment where, you know, where you're spamming breath of life or something like that. Keep your group up, right? Next one and last one for the raid trial sets is found in Rock Grove, and it is an awesome set called Stone Talker's Oath, okay? Stone Talker's Oath comes from Rock Grove, like we said. It is the trial that released with Blackwood. Blackwood is now also a part of ESO Plus, so you can get either the Blackwood expansion or ESO Plus, right? And by the way, <clears throat> there's gonna be a ton of different expansions that all these sets come from. I highly recommend just getting ESO Plus. It's gonna be, what, in the US, $14.99, and you're gonna be able to access literally all of these raids, all of these dungeons, everything, okay? So, let's get right to it. Stone Talker's Oath. Two-piece Magicka Recovery, three-piece ma Minor Aegis, four-piece Magicka Recovery. The five-piece Perfected is Max Magicka. And then the five-piece says, Heavy Attacks place a bomb on the target. The bomb grows with damage, and after 10 seconds, it explodes, giving back 5% of the damage dealt as both Stamina and Magicka to up to your entire raid group, 12 group members, within 16 meters. Pretty self-explanatory. It's just an absolutely amazing um, sustain set for your group, okay? All right, the second section of this video is going to be going over the five piece sets that are good from dungeons, okay? And this is going to be a mixture of both um, DLC dungeons and just normal dungeons, base game dungeons. First set we're going to be going over is a really popular one. It is part of the base game. It's called Worms Raiment down here. Um, this comes from Vaults of Madness. This is, again, a base game dungeon. The two piece is Magicka Recovery, three piece is Max Magicka, four piece is Magicka Recovery, and the five piece grants 145 Magicka Recovery to you and 11 other group members, and this persists through death. This is a really good recovery set if you have a largely Magicka based group, which most of the time we do. So tanks really need Magicka Recovery, that's why most of them take the Atronach Mundus. Your healers need Magicka Recovery for obvious reasons. And then most of the time, most of the time, um, big groups Big raid groups are going to be comprised of largely ranged damage dealers, which most of the time are Magicka, okay? Um, this is definitely also one of the more common sets that you'll see from a visual standpoint. Um, it's the one with, a, like, the blue orbs, you know, going around it. This is what I would consider, this is a very easy set to farm out, and it is an excellent um, beginner healing set. I think if you can strive... Okay, if you can strive to have um, the raid sets, I want you guys to look for at least one of those raid sets and then combine it most of the time with um, one of the dungeon sets. So, for instance, on my healer, I'm using, and this is what I use for pretty much everything. I use Powerful Assault. I use Sentinel, which we'll go over in a different video, and Spell Power Cure. Spell Power Cure is from um, down here, from White Gold Tower, okay? We'll go over that in a second, though. Okay. Next set, Hollow Fang Thirst. This is going to come from Moongrave Fane. It's going to come down here to the middle. Um, Moongrave Fane is part of the Scale Breaker DLC or ESO Plus. Okay. Two piece is crit chance, three piece is max magicka, four piece is crit chance, and the five piece, whenever you crit heal or do crit damage, you spawn a big ball of blood. Two seconds later, it explodes and gives the players magicka and minor vitality. This is another great sustain set for a largely magicka based group. Plus, it just makes your life easier with the minor vitality placed on the group. Next one is a pretty popular one that you'll see um, raid leaders ask you to wear in raids. Uh, maybe not as much in dungeons, but definitely in raids. It is called Zen's Redress. Zen's Redress comes from Lair of Marsalot. This is also from the Scale Breaker DLC or ESO Plus. Two pieces max magicka, three pieces weapon and spell damage, four pieces max magicka, five piece light attacks apply a debuff, which lasts for 20 seconds. This can be applied up to five times, and this debuff allows your group to deal 1% more damage per stack. So basically, you can get up to 5% more damage done. So this is a little bit different um, than what a lot of the other sets were saying, right? But this is basically going to take advantage of our fact that we are light attack weaving um, between the sets. Now, beginning healers, you're going to see a lot of us are going to be just heavy attacking a lot more than you need to. We typically have very high magical recovery unbuffed. 
Um, you can see I'm up to over 2k. I mean, you're going to end up heavy attacking a lot more than you need to. So remember to light attack between your skills, at least when you're going through your rotation and trying to keep all your skills up. This will allow you to get in the mindset passively um, that you're going to be proccing Zen's redress in your raids and stuff. Okay. All right. Next set is called Sanctuary. Sanctuary is a cool set. Another good beginner set that comes from the Banner Cells 1 or 2. Um, and by the way, these dungeon sets, you do not need to run them on Veteran for them to be um, dropping how you want. Okay, just farm these on normal. All right, two pieces max health. Three piece is healing taken. Four piece is max magicka. Five piece increases the healing received for you and group members by 10%. This persists through death. Nice beginner healing set, kind of self-explanatory, okay? Next one is, again, one of my favorites. It's called Yorvold's Guidance. This comes from Scale Color Peak. Scale Color Peak is part of the Dragon Bones DLC or ESO Plus, okay? The two piece is going to give you Magicka Recovery. Three piece is also Magicka Recovery. Four piece is Healing Taken. And the five piece increases the duration of major buffs, minor buffs, and damage shields by 40% when in combat. This set is absolutely amazing and a very, very common staple of healers. I highly, highly recommend getting this set. It'll increase all of your buff times like Major Force from your Horn, Minor Berserk, and Resolve from your Combat Prayer, etc. Okay. Next set is called Hideous Hearth. This comes from Ice Reach. Ice Reach is part of the Harrow Storm DLC or ESO Plus. Okay. The two piece is going to give you Magicka Recovery. Three piece will give you Magicka Recovery. Four piece gives you max magicka, and the five piece says when you heal yourself or an ally, you create this big aura. Allies that are in the aura get healed and have cost reduction for roll dodge, sprinting, and blocking. And then this heal is going to scale with your max magicka, which is great. So this is a really fun and easy to proc set. Um, it's great for momentum and speed runs, especially through dungeons. Okay. Um, Dread Cellar. I'm down here. We're going to be looking at Scorion's Feast. Scorion's Feast, again, part of Dread Cellar. This dungeon is part of the Waking Flame DLC or ESO+. Plus. Two pieces Max Magicka, three pieces Magicka Recovery, four pieces Weapon and Spell Damage, five piece. When you do a heavy attack, you get an Imbued Aura, which allows you to give your group Magicka and Stamina Recovery. You can then switch this type of Aura to increase Weapon and Spell Damage instead by heavy attacking while that Imbued Aura is active. So this is great for recoveries and damage. Kind of self-explanatory, but you can even switch at the last few seconds to have a ton of uptime on all these buffs, okay? Next set is going to come from Earth and Root Enclave. It is called Stones Accord. Stones Accord and Earth and Root Enclave are part of the Lost Depths DLC or ESO+. Plus. The two pieces Max Magicka, three pieces Healing Done, four pieces Max Magicka, five pieces says when you heal, with an AoE heal, which is, again, we have about five of those on our bar currently, grant minor berserk and resolve. If the group member already has this, you just restore Magicka. So, let's take a look at a really popular skill here. Combat Prayer. What, is it, what does it give you here? So, you heal them for about 9,500 health, but look at that buff at the bottom. Also grants you minor berserk and resolve, right? So this set is basically completely replacing the need to run combat prayer. So if you end up running this, it's a good set, um, again, for a magicka-based group, but you do not need to be running combat prayer. This would just literally be an AoE heal at this point, um, and I would recommend running something else, okay? Not running something else set-wise, but running something else um, skill-wise, okay? The final section of this video is going to comprise of five piece sets that are found in overland content, including PvP, or that can be crafted or purchased on guild traders. Okay. The first set is called Kagranax Hope. So let's come over here. We'll pull it up. Kagranax. So that we can see what it looks like. Come over here, crank it up. Okay. Now these numbers are not going to be completely accurate, but we will look at the five piece and that'll be accurate. Okay, two pieces max magicka. Three pieces magicka recovery, four pieces max health, five piece adds weapon and spell damage, and then decreases res time by 20%. This is a crafted set that's going to require eight traits to um, craft. This is part of the base game, 
and it's going to be requiring you to finish the Fighters Guild storyline because it is located in the Earth Forge, or because it's crafted, you can purchase it on Guild Traders or have a buddy make this for you, right? If you use this on a Templar, okay, combined with the Spirit Mastery CP node, okay, so what am I talking about? So on a Templar, we have a passive called Master Ritualist, which is going to increase our res speed by 20%. Resurrected allies get all of their health when they resurrect. And then there's a CP node in the red tree called Spirit Mastery, which decreases the time it takes to resurrect an ally by 33%. So with this set, <laughs> Spirit Mastery and Master Ritualist, you're literally going to have a 73% time reduction for resing. I mean, it's, you're literally going to res people in no time at all. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is a great set to use if you are, you know, proc, uh, progging like a hard mode dungeon clear for the first time, or you're an endless archive, or you're just in pugs in general, and you know a lot of people are going to die. There are obviously better options. And generally, generally speaking, the harder the content is, the better the gear is going to be. So a lot of the DLC dungeon sets and the raid sets are going to be what you want to go for originally. Um, not originally, eventually. But this is a fantastic set to dip your toes into healing. There are actually two crafted sets, including this one, that I recommend that you wear when you first start healing. 100%. This is a fantastic set. You can use this or Seducer. Seducer is basically a big um, Magicka cost reduction set. I don't include it in this video because it's not purely just for healing. Um, but it, that's another set that you could use if you're doing that. But Kagranax Hope is definitely number one, what I would recommend. Okay, next set is called Powerful Assault. Okay, so Powerful Assault is actually located in the Imperial City. So you can get this from coffers, from getting Telvar, all that stuff. What I did, because I don't really... I've started PvPing a lot more recently, especially since I've been healing a lot more recently. Um, but I got all of this on um, Guild Traders, 100%. I wasn't going <laughs> to go to Imperial City and farm this out. Okay, so it is a medium armor set, so this is going to have to be on your weapons and jewelry, and you'll, ha and you'll have to keep this in mind. A lot of tanks also use this set. Okay, so if you're in a raid group, typically the off tank is going to be running this, or if you're in a dungeon, just check that your tank is not running this, because obviously there's no point in running it twice. Um, the two pieces max health, three pieces max stam, four piece is weapon and spell damage. The five piece increases your weapon and spell damage whenever you use an assault ability. Okay, so we're going to proc this on our back bar using Echoing Vigor. All right, so that's the AoE group heal morph of that. Come down here. So some tanks will proc it with Echoing Vigor. Other tanks may have Razor Caltrops for the CC and the AoE Major Breach. And that's another way that you can proc it. Okay. All right, next set is another crafting set, and this is the second set that I recommend you use. So like right when you, literally right when you hit level 50 CP 160, I highly recommend that you get a set of Order's Wrath, and I highly recommend you get a set of Kakarnax Hope, and that's a really, really good starting healer setup, okay? So this comes from High Isle, so it's going to require the High Isle expansion or ESO Plus, but what's so good about it is it only requires three traits. So Kagranax Hope requires eight traits, so that's definitely one of those you're going to have to buy or you're going to have to get a buddy to make for you. But Order's Wrath, by the time you're CP160, if you've been doing any research at all, um, and I mean, you know, via the crafting up here, the research, um, you should be able to make this yourself, honestly. Two pieces crit chance, three pieces is weapon and spell damage, four pieces crit chance, five pieces more crit chance, and it also increases your crit damage and healing by 8%. So, self-explanatory, your likelihood to crit with your heals is going to be insane. And then the weapon and spell damage is going to help with the, um, the magnitude of your heals, okay? Next set is an overland set that comes from Kragmar. It is called Martial Knowledge. Okay, come down here. So, two pieces max magicka, three piece is weapon and spell damage, four piece weapon and spell damage, five piece while your stamina is below 50%. Your light attacks, remember we're light attack weaving in between our skills and then heavy attack weaving when the skills are working. Um, your light attacks cause the enemy to take an additional 
damage for five seconds. This is very easy to keep up, which is nice. It's kind of similar to the playstyle of Zen's from earlier, where we're using light attacks all the time. Um, but it is really easy to keep up, by the way. Okay, last set for this video. Again, we've got monster sets. We've got, you know, mythics. We've got all that stuff. We're going to do that in another video. I just wanted to give you all some, a few sets that you can, you know, start chasing after. Okay. So, Winter's Respite, this is located in Western Skyrim. So, again, that'll require Greymore or ESO Plus, or you can just buy it on Guild Traders. Okay. Two piece Magicka Recovery, three piece Max Magicka, four piece Max Magicka, five piece. When you cast an ability that leaves an effect on the ground, what leaves an effect on the ground? Wall of Elements, Restoring Focus, Extended Ritual, your AoE Heal, Combat Prayer. You can see we've got five abilities, right? Um, you're going to leave a big frost circle on the ground for 10 seconds that heals enemies, or not heals enemies, heals allies inside of it. So look at the size of this heal. You see how big this circle is? That's roughly how big the frost circle is. So it's absolutely enormous. Okay, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, there's quite a bit of five piece sets that are a blast, honestly, to use as a healer, both that are effective and that feel good to utilize. I'm sure I'm missing a couple sets here and there, but I wanted to put out what I felt were the best. There are many other healer sets in this game that maybe provide buffs that are very easily covered by your damage dealers or tanks in the group, or they're just so niche that you'll only really utilize them in very specific situations. And as such, I didn't feel like they were good to put into this video. If y'all don't see a set on this list, that you commonly use, throw it in the comments below and explain why you use it, okay? I want this video to be a solid resource for upcoming healers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to keep an eye out for the next video in the series where we'll go over common arena sets, monster sets, and mythics for healers. Also, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, I would appreciate it more than you know. Hopefully, y'all have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace!